For the first step, I'm going to teach you all how to download an older version of CapCut. What you're going to want to do is go to this website up to down. Link will be in the description and uh, you're going to scroll down, click what version you want. Click it, go ahead, hit download, and you're just, you're just going to wait for it to download. After it's done, you're just going to set it up like normal CapCut and it's going to download again. After it's done, you can see that we have the normal old version of CapCut. But the issue is that once you close it and reopen it, it automatically updates to this newest version, which we don't want. So I'm going to teach you how to stop that in today's video. First things first, you're going to want to search up CapCut in your Windows search. Hit open file location right click on CapCut, hit open file location again and you see we have the newest version and the old version delete the newest version and after that CapCut should be back to the old version that you downloaded but it'll, it'll still try to update so let's go ahead and continue with this step go back inside the folder hit view and scroll down to show and make sure you check this icon i'm hovering over right now also inside the folder you'll see product info.xml go ahead and delete that now we're going to create a text document and rename it product info.xml so we're going to go ahead and do that product info.xml make sure you press .xml at the end or this won't work and then we're going to go ahead and create another text document we're going to name this one updater.exe now just follow what i do so go here hit this Delete this if you already have updater.exe in here already. Delete that. Create a new text document in here. And we're going to rename this updater.exe. And hit yes. After that, we're going to research CapCut. Hit open file location. Right click on CapCut. Show more options. Go into properties. Go into general. And make sure read only is checked. And now we're going to go back hit open right click it hit open file location make sure you drag every single file right click it show more options properties and make sure you have read only on both if CapCut is still trying to update what you're going to want to do is look this up right here click on it hit outbound rule go to new rule select on program now what you got to do is search up CapCut like we've been doing open file location right click on CapCut inside the folder and you're going to scroll down and press copy as path now paste what you just copied inside of here delete the quotation marks at the end of this and there's also some at the beginning go ahead and delete those hit next make sure you got everything that i have selected selected hit next all this make sure this is selected hit next we're gonna we're, we're gonna name it uh cap cut update blocker Go ahead next and you should be done with this step. Okay, the last step is the easiest. All you're gonna do is search up Windows PowerShell, press run as administrator and copy and paste everything that I have in the description. Some of these scripts won't work for you, but that's okay. As long as CapCut does not update, we are good. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, make sure to sub.